Okay, good afternoon everyone. I'm Glenn McCready and I'm with Soul Solar Outdoor Lighting. Welcome to the webinar, Don't Stay Tethered to the Grid, How Solar is Revolutionizing Streetlights. Today we're going to talk about solar-powered LED street lighting systems as a viable option for outdoor lighting that's uh, changing an industry that's been traditionally dominated by on-grid electrically powered lighting systems. And if you have questions throughout today's presentation, please enter them into the questions function in the right sidebar. And we'll uh, answer them in the Q&A segment at the end of the presentation. Also, the presentation will be available on demand at solarlighting.com in the next few days. So let's uh, start just with a little background on Sol and its parent company, Carmana Technologies. Carmana got its start to 20 years ago as the pioneer of solar-powered lanterns for marine aids to navigation, uh, like the one shown in the top image, positioned just under the pyramid near the top of the marine buoy, and has grown from there to include off-grid lighting for airfield runways and taxiways, as shown in the military application in the bottom picture, as well as obstruction lighting for towers and cranes, wind farms, other infrastructure, and also traffic signals. I think you can see how challenging and demanding these applications are, and they're, they're mission critical, demand world-class engineering and to design highly reliable systems that are capable of really efficiently collecting and managing solar energy. Kermana has completed more than 400,000 installations in 110 countries, and its focus is on global leadership in, in signals and solar LED lighting solutions for infrastructure. For over more than 25 years, Sol, Solar Outdoor Lighting has proven itself as an expert in solar lighting, delivering reliable solutions for a wide variety of outdoor lighting applications, including parking lots, pathways and trails, perimeter security, as well as roadways and, and streets. The first in solar lighting, Sol has provided commercial, industrial and military grade systems in over 75,000 installations worldwide. Sol's solar LED lighting operates independently of the electrical grid, uses Cree's um, state-of-the-art fixtures, and is backed by uh, industry-leading warranty. Carmana acquired Sol in 2014 and is combining the expertise of these two companies to develop the next generation of solar LED streetlights. As many of you uh, will already be aware, LED lighting is has been disrupting the lighting industry for some time. LED light bulbs available today at Home Depot or Lowe's, they generate the same amount of light with a 9-watt bulb that a 60-watt incandescent bulb has generated since Edison invented it more than 130 years ago. As a result mainly of this dramatic development in LED technology, solar LED lighting is set to disrupt the traditional street lighting industry, removing the costs and inconvenience associated with connection to the electrical grid. This graph compares the cost trends of traditional on-grid systems, the, the gray line, with the cost trend of solar LED lighting, which is shown in the yellow line. All the drops on the yellow solar band show the advancements in technology, including the introduction of each new generation of more efficient LED lighting. Today in 2016, the bands partially overlap since local project factors will affect the cost for each of the technologies with the result that sometimes the grid is less expensive and sometimes solar LED lighting is less expensive. And we'll discuss these, these factors a little later. But the trends are consistent. Over time, solar LED lighting is becoming competitive for a greater and greater portion of projects. You might also notice in the graph that in 2017, another drop is coming. And we'll talk about that today too. But first, let's look at whether solar is ready to outduel its grid-tied adversary in the battle to provide the most reliable, cost-effective outdoor lighting solutions. So our research, research suggests that um, these are the main concerns of potential solar LED streetlight customers and designers. Reliability, cost, and light levels. Today we're going to see how solar LED lighting really matches up. So to get started, let's meet the opponents in this battle for commercial lighting supremacy. Let's meet the challenger, solar LED lighting. 
Solar LED lighting, the up-and-comer, a bit of an unknown, but ready to break into the big time, poised to offer less expensive LED street lighting simply and without compromise. The incumbent, grid-connected LED lighting, is the old-timer whose days in the spotlight just may be coming to an end thanks to Solar LED lighting, the sharp new competitor who has been diligently honing its craft for the last few years. So, is this challenger ready to take on the incumbent? Let's start, to start with round one, reliability. The truth is that today's property design solar LED lighting, the system is reliable, providing enough energy, to, uh, energy storage to keep the LED light on for days, even if there is no sun. So this is referred to as autonomy and is expressed in days. It's the number of days that the light would operate normally if there was absolutely no energy collected. But just like if you had disconnected the solar panels completely. So Sol normally designs with at least four days of autonomy based on the worst month of the year. That's the month with the longest night. The other benefit of designing systems with this much autonomy is that it's very good for battery life. So if you've heard about batteries failing after a couple of years, it's probably because they were designed without the proper autonomy. Of course, the other aspect of solar LED streetlights reliability is their complete independence from the grid, which means they're not affected when the power from the grid is interrupted. When it comes to system reliability, on-grid systems certainly can offer consistent light as long as the grid's connected. But if the grid, is, but the grid subject outages, and then it's all or nothing. It's if the grid's out, all the lights are out. Let's move on to round two: cost. Everyone loves the idea that the sun generates the electricity for solar LED lighting for free, but solar LED street lighting systems that capture that power have been quite expensive. Earlier we talked about the rapid changes in LED lights. We're getting more and more light for the same watts. And this trend has a long way to go before all the potential is captured. In addition, there have been dramatic reductions in solar panel cost, as well as improvements in their efficiency. And as a result of all of these factors, solar LED lighting systems are becoming smaller and smaller and less expensive and yet are able to produce even more light. So let's look at installation cost. Here you see some of the components of cost that make up a grid connected installation. So you have to bring the power to the perimeter of the site have to install the electrical service panel and controls. You have to bring the power from that panel to the first light pole. And then you have to do the trenching and provide the conduit and wire and the labor to install everything to connect from each pole, to connect pole to pole. Using solar LED lighting saves all of these costs as well as any associated permitting and inspection fees. Sol's solar LED lighting systems are low voltage and simple to assemble and can usually be installed by general labor, which saves both time and money. So the on-site labor and materials costs that are avoided with solar LED lighting can more than offset the cost of the solar panels and the electronics that are in the solar LED lighting systems. So this is how the installed cost of solar LED lighting can be cheaper. And plus there's added advantages like avoiding project delays and costs that can sometimes happen when utility companies are involved. So now we're on to round three, light levels. Once again, thanks to the impact of the LED improvements, solar LED lighting systems can already provide the light levels recommended by the Illuminating Engineering Society the recognized authority for establishing lighting performance in North America. Solar LED lighting systems may not currently be the best answer to meet the more extreme light levels, typically seen in specialty applications like gas stations, but they're perfectly capable of meeting recommended standards for street lighting, parking lots, pathways, and security applications. Today's solar LED lighting systems can drive state-of-the-art fixtures to deliver uniform warm light with excellent color rendering. There is no compromise. And remember that, that drop coming in 2017 on the yellow solar line in the cost curve in the earlier slide? 
Well, current indications show that 2017 fixtures will offer a significant improvement in energy efficiency, as much as 33% over the current generation of fixtures. So this bodes really well for the trend toward solar LED lights being less expensive than grid-connected alternative for an ever-increasing share of the, of the project, again, without compromising light levels. Let's take a look at the recap. Through three rounds, solar LED lighting has proven itself. A solar LED lighting system is reliable, it's comparable on cost for many applications, and it meets industry standard for light levels. And the trends increasingly favor solar. More than just a contender, solar LED lighting is a revolutionary system that's now changing the outdoor lighting landscape. Next question is, can solar LED lighting do anything better than an on-grid system and truly bring down its adversary? You can see that solar LED lighting offers a competitive option without compromising light levels and quality, but solar LED lighting offers additional features to deliver the final punch, the bonus advantages that traditional on-grid systems can't compete with. First, solar LED lighting is ideal for special situations like remote locations that are distant from the grid, where trenching is particularly difficult, like in Hawaii where lava is not too far below the surface, or other situations where there's bedrock, eco-sensitive applications where trenching is best avoided, and temporary installations where the system will be relocated later. These are special situations where on-grid systems uh, would cost much more. Second, the solar LED lighting system also acts as a public safety and security system for emergency preparedness. As we've talked about, solar-powered lights will stay on even when the grid is down. On-grid can't compete with that. And solar systems are all designed to meet local wind design levels. This is a, a picture of a subdivision in South Florida immediately after Hurricane Andrew and shows that Seoul Solar Light survived and kept on providing light when much of the rest of the infrastructure couldn't. Third, a solar LED lighting system is a sleek and trending option, and, um, so it's an opportunity to get ahead of the curve, to stand out, and provide some leadership in the renewable energy revolution. So with that final punch, solar LED lighting delivers a knockout. But let's talk a little bit about the future. At Seoul, we're working on simple, reliable, cost-effective lighting without compromise. Solar technology is improving all the time, and long-lasting lighting with satellite monitoring is the next step in improving functionality. By offering the capability to remotely monitor your system starting in 2017, we'll be making it possible for you to confirm your systems are functioning, as well as to receive predictive maintenance alerts to help optimize your systems and providing a guarantee that those lights will stay working. In fact, as a result of this, you can expect an unprecedented warranty uh, in 2017. So you can be part of this next generation of outdoor lighting and the projects that you're working on today or that uh, are in the final could use this new technology as early as next spring. And even with the current technology that you can see here in place on a street in Chandler, Arizona, we provided sufficient lighting to meet the Illuminating Engineering Society standards, and that's just one example of how solar technology is pushing the outdoor lighting revolution to the, the next level. So let's move on to our Q&A. If you haven't submitted your questions yet, please do so now. I'll give you a couple of minutes to key in any questions that you've got, if you haven't already done so. And I'll take one of the questions that's already been keyed in. Uh, so what is the cost difference between grid-connected lights and solar lights? And uh, not surprisingly, this is always the, the number one question. So our focus is on the installed cost of these alternatives. And so it really depends on the specific situation. Sometimes solar LED lights are cheaper. Um, Sometimes grid-connected is cheaper. As we've mentioned, because the cost of solar LED systems are trending down, more and more situations will favor solar, but 
as general guidelines, solar is more attractive in sunnier climates because the systems can be smaller. So if in the, you know, in the southern, particularly the southern states, um, or where the situations on site require more on site labor. And that can be where um, it's relatively more difficult or expensive to get the grid service established, either because it's distant from where the grid currently uh, exists or if it's complicated. In situations where trenching costs are higher, as it would be another example, uh, where there's more bedrock, those, kind, those kinds of things. So it does depend currently uh, on the, the current situation in the job. Um, but as I say, the trend is definitely towards solar being a, a more attractive option in a greater proportion of the situations. Uh, so the next question, how long do the batteries last? Well, as we mentioned earlier, this is influenced by the proper autonomy. Seoul uh, has our warranty is currently at five years, and we expect to be able to lengthen this warranty starting in 27 with, uh, 2017 with the satellite monitoring capability. So, uh, so watch for that. But certainly our experience is that if you properly design the system with a large enough battery storage as well as the sufficient panel uh, array, that you will see battery life in excess of five years. And as I say, we expect it'll be much longer going forward. Can I turn the light on at a certain time? Well, currently, the way the lights are triggered, the way they, when, the way they come on is when the, uh, when the sun sets, the, there's a voltage drop that, uh, on the panels, on the PD panels. And this, this triggers the lights to be turned on. Uh, having said that, uh, I know that in the future, we, ex we, we our future systems will be um, will use a, a calendar-based scheduling option as well. So uh, again, starting probably later in 2017 for the calendar, uh, the calendar function, we'll be able to be more specific in terms of exactly when the, the lights would would trigger on. But currently, it's it's just sort of the natural when it gets dark, the lights come on, and it's just uh, using the uh, the solar panel as a as a big uh, uh, a big trigger for that. I'll take one more question here, um, and that is, uh, let's see, are there grants available and um, for solar? And, and yes, the answer is yes. So we certainly are aware that grants have been used to pay for solar projects. Uh, definitely a, a localized story. There's federal grants. I know there's state grants. That have been used. These change over time. Obviously, they're they're often politically driven, um, and so it's it's a di dynamic. Uh, I would I would suggest that you would look at these on a project by project basis, and probably with the help of a of a grant writer. Uh, so that's all the time I'm going to take for questions today. If, um, if we didn't get to yours, please be assured that we will connect with you directly to make sure your questions are are properly answered and fully answered. And on, let me just say, on behalf of the entire team at Seoul Inc., I want to thank you for joining us uh, today in this battle between grid, on-grid lighting and the new, the new contender, solar LED lighting. And our contact information is on screen. If you want to get in touch later uh, for more questions or get uh, drill deeper into your own specific project, please feel free to reach out. And we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks again.